Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Theory Music School. This video focuses specifically on the voice leading of the cadential progression of the root position dominant seventh chord to the root position tonic triad. This specific idiom occurs frequently in tonal music to create cadences or punctuation in the music. However, the 5-7 to tonic cadential progression is perhaps the most nuanced tonal harmony voice leading topic, in part because either the dominant seventh chord or the tonic triad will often be an incomplete chord with the chordal fifth member omitted. Most likely, and perhaps for good reason, there has been an emphasis on complete triads or complete chords in many curriculums leading up to this point. However, the downside to this emphasis will likely come to fruition when addressing the root position 5-7 to root position tonic triad cadential progression, as students will likely try to write complete chords and thus make a few voice leading mistakes as a result. Therefore, it is important to let go of this idea that all chords should be complete. This video will cover four of the most likely voice leading scenarios regarding the specific cadential progression of root position 5-7 to root position 1. When given a 5-7 chord to resolve to tonic, first ask yourself if the 5-7 chord is complete or incomplete. Example A shows an incomplete dominant 7th chord within the key of F major. The chordal 5th, the G, is omitted, leaving a doubled chordal root, a chordal 3rd, and a chordal 7th. If the 5-7 chord is incomplete, as is the case in this example, do the following when resolving to a tonic triad. This is scenario number 1. First, resolve the chordal 7th down by step. In this example, that would be the B flat and the soprano voice moving down by step to the A. Then resolve the leading tone up by step to scale degree 1, which in this example is the E moving up by step to the F in the alto voice. Next, keep the common tone in the same voice, which in this example is the C in the tenor. Notice that so far, this is no different from the voice leading of the inverted dominant seventh chords that were resolved to tonic triads discussed in the prior video. Finally, the bass voice will move inevitably from scale degree five to scale degree one. Notice that while the five seven chord was incomplete, the tonic triad is complete with the familiar voicing of a doubled chordal root, a chordal third and a chordal fifth. However, what happens if the 5-7 chord is complete as seen here? This presents a second possibility or scenario number two, represented throughout this video as example B. Still, ask yourself for the sake of habit the first question, is the 5-7 chord complete? If the answer is yes, you need to ask and answer one final question is the leading tone in the soprano voice. If the answer is yes, resolve to a tonic triad as follows. As always, first resolve the chordal seventh down by step. Next, if the leading tone appears in the soprano voice as is the case here, it must resolve up to scale degree one. Then move scale degree two down to scale degree one. And finally, the bass will move from scale degree five to scale degree one, which is inherent to the root position progression. Notice that this creates an incomplete tonic triad with a tripled chordal root and a chordal third. When the leading tone is in the soprano voice as part of a complete dominant seventh chord, the resulting tonic triad will be incomplete. Don't be afraid of the incomplete tonic triad. Embrace the tripled chordal root as it's common within this specific idiom of root position 5, 7 to 1. Let us return to our questions one more time. What if the answer is no to the second question? What if the leading tone appears in an inner voice, the alto or tenor? 
In this example, the leading tone appears in the alto voice and represents a third possibility or scenario represented throughout this video as example C. Again, resolve the chordal seventh as always down by step. However, now that the leading tone appears in an inner voice, it may resolve up by step to scale degree one, just like it did when it appeared in the soprano of the prior example. Or it may move down to scale degree five, providing two possible solutions. We will handle the leading tone in both ways, but first we will resolve the leading tone up by step from E to the F as seen here. After handling the leading tone, move scale degree two down by step to scale degree one. This is the G in the tenor voice moving down to the F. And finally, the bass will move from scale degree five to scale degree one inherent to the root position progression. Notice again that the resulting tonic triad is incomplete with the chordal fifth omitted, leaving a triad with a tripled chordal root and a chordal third. Let us return to the option provided by step two regarding the leading tone resolution. Example C, the third possibility we just reviewed, shows the leading tone resolving up by step in an inner voice. However, what if the leading tone doesn't resolve up by step, but rather moves down to scale degree five? This is seen in example D, scenario number four. Notice that the chordal fifth of the tonic triad is no longer omitted, and we are left with a complete tonic triad with the familiar voicing of a doubled chordal root. This page reviews the four possible scenarios of the root position 5, 7 to 1 progression as shown earlier in this video. Again, start with asking whether the 5, 7 chord is complete. If the answer is no, the 5, 7 will resolve to a complete tonic triad as seen in example A by following the steps outlined below. This is scenario number one. However, if the answer is Yes, there are three possibilities depending on the location and resolution of the leading tone as outlined in step number two, which you can now see in bold. If the leading tone is in the soprano voice as seen in example B, scenario number two, it must resolve up by step resulting in an incomplete tonic triad with a tripled chordal root. However, if the leading tone is in an inner voice, as seen in examples C and D, it may move up by step, creating an incomplete tonic triad, example C, or move down to scale degree 5, creating a complete tonic triad. These are scenarios 3 and 4. Notice that there is only one possibility where both chords are complete, example D. This requires that students begin to let go of the idea that they likely have been holding on to quite closely, and that is the idea that every chord must be complete. With this specific idiom of root position 5-7 to root posi position tonic triad, we can see there are certain conditions where complete chords are impossible. Here are five examples for you to work out on your own. Remember to start by asking whether the given 5-7 chord is complete or incomplete. If it's complete, you must then determine if the leading tone is in the soprano voice and resolve accordingly. Take as much time as you need to come up with your solutions. The answers with some commentary is provided on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like updates when more videos are posted. Thank you.